yesterday I made a decision when I wanted to make coffee for myself, but knew if I made coffee for myself, I would probably end up drinking it cold because the way it went yesterday, it was just, I was not going to have the time to enjoy my coffee. And I decided that from now on, I will only make myself coffee when I know I can really enjoy it and take the time to enjoy it. So many times I make myself coffee, take a sip, I love that I have that first sip, and then after that it's just like, I, I'm drinking cold coffee for the rest of the day. And it's, I never finish it, I drink half of it over a period of eight hours, <laughs> and then I never finish it. So I decided that since coffee is such a pleasant ritual for me. It's really like a ritual that I enjoy so much. I'm going to take the time to really enjoy it. And I've kind of said this before, and this cup is the perfect cup to do it with. Chasa Cabo. I think it's perfect. Like I love, I love the, the mentality that that gives me. I'm really gonna stick to that from now on because um, I went through a period in my life where I was seriously addicted to coffee and I really felt like it takes away from the enjoyment of coffee. Now that I don't have to have coffee in order to function, it's so much more enjoyable. Like I enjoy it in such a much more, I don't know, in such a nicer way. That's what I decided I'm gonna start doing. I think it's really like a healthy thing. It's something I'm doing for my mental health. Believe it or not, that sounds kind of funny and it sounds kind of maybe cheesy, but I really need to be aware of my mental health because I, I get totally frazzled and burnt out mentally. And I think that it's not in the huge things in life that this happens, it's in the little day-to-day -day things that happen. Since I've known Luca, he's had a ukulele, and uh, it's a really nice one, really expensive, and because it's so nice, it makes him really nervous if anybody tries to use it, including himself. Like, he can't just use it and then just set it down. It's like, he always wants to put it carefully in his case. For Olivia's birthday, her name's day, we got her this ukulele. She's really excited about, but also I think Luca's super excited about because now he can practice on something and then just set it down and it doesn't worry him as much. But I'm really excited because I used to play the guitar before I moved here. I had a guitar. I had an Ibanez. I really loved it. Steel string. Made me very happy. I never got that good at it, um, but when I moved here it was just too big to take with me and it really was in the way, like I just, I couldn't take it. So I gave it to my brother. The other thing about a guitar is that it's not so easy to travel with. And the kind of lifestyle we live, we travel a lot. And I always thought it would be so nice to have an instrument that you could really take with you places and enjoy. This is like the perfect solution. It's so tiny, it can go with you anywhere. It's amazing. So if anybody, um, I know my friend Leo plays the ukulele, I think he does his thing, pictures, videos, pictures, both. So if anybody feels like uh, getting together and teaching me chords, that'd be great. <laughs> Honestly though, like, I have very little time and I just do this, like, this is part of my ritual. So look, now I'm having this delicious, god that tastes good, <laughs> this delicious coffee and I'm learning some new chords on the ukulele. This is a chord progressions. So we have C. I don't even know if I'm using, like when it's one chord like that, do you use this finger? This. Where did Luca, I think, downloaded a, uh, an app for learning the ukulele. Let's see if it's on here. I'll just set up the iPad with it, that'd be great. Speaking 
of iPad. I was thinking I should do a review of all the Apple products I have. Let me know if that would be interesting to you. Last night was such a nightmare. In the middle of something happened, in the middle of everything. Something at iCloud, something happened and I was like, the, the, my computer was weird, being weird, which is, really makes me nervous. I'm f like, I don't want to get hacked or anything. So I decided to change up my passwords. So anyways, I changed all my passwords last night in the middle of doing everything, which I just feel is healthy. <laughs> like I just, I, generally I usually change all my passwords, like the important ones. I don't know, annually, semi-annually or something like this, but it had been a while since I did. So I went through and I changed all my passwords, all of them. And they're not all the same either. Like it takes, I have to like really commit to memorizing them. This whole time I haven't been recording with my microphone. Dang it. Jeez. How's that? Is that better? Son of a gun. Does it sound better now? Another big reason I wanted to learn the ukulele was because my kids are extremely musically inclined. And what I mean by that is that Olivia, since the time she could talk, she sang. When she was a baby, she would be singing. Leia is already singing and she's one year old. She can't, she doesn't really talk words yet. And she's singing. Like I hear, like she sits here and she, just like literally singing. Olivia was the same. When she was really young, before she could really talk, she was singing. I see a lot of potential in her where this morning I sang her a song for the very first time. I sing it once through and she already has it like 80% memorized and repeats it. And she's so skilled. I'm really careful though in the way that I talk to her. Like I don't wanna tell her she's so good or she's so talented or she's so skilled because I really believe that's the wrong mindset to raise your kids with. Read the book, Mindset. I'd rather tell her she has a lot of potential and if she works hard, she could really improve. She could get incredibly good with a lot of hard work and then like praise her improvement as she works on it. That's all explained in that book. I've reviewed that book in one of my book reviews, so check that out. So one of the main reasons I really want to learn ukulele is to have something that we can take with us everywhere and sing and like I want uh, my kids to learn music. I feel like music is really important in life and I feel like they have a lot of potential. I see that they have some musical inclinations naturally and I want to bring that out in them and give them the opportunity to use that. So that's a big reason why I'm doing this and it's for my own personal enjoyment. I really enjoy it and I would really like to get good at this. Thank you for joining me on this little indoor Thursday. If you like this video, please like it. If you like me, please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.